<laughs> nice. Good evening, those of you that have Mandela effects, or you think you have, or you quantum jumped here. You come to see me, and uh, we get weird. But my primary audience is people getting off narcotics that have these effects. Those people that are getting off the things that are killing them, they come see me, I spin you, I turn you, I make weird ass comments and I get high right on camera. And I do that so you don't be embarrassed when you smoke a joint. You don't have to take heroin, you don't have to take smack, you don't have to take anything that's killing you, anything. Methadone will help you get off. That's it. Get off of that as soon as you can. I went cold turkey a year ago today. Cold turkey. I'm doing fucking great, guys. A lot of people are concerned and they... I just live day to day. You see somebody with pure emotion, I live day to day. And so, some of my videos, I play, man. Tomorrow, I'll probably make an announcement tomorrow. I will be going, no, not tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is my new day. I will be going, not Skype, I'll be doing live chat. And so I already got people that want to go on live chat before I even thought about doing it. I already got requests, so they want to come on. And I was like, all right. That's cool with me. Fuck. Yeah, man. I mean, and so I went ahead and I went out and kind of searched around and I found some people myself. Um, Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. I like to bring on honest people that I know are honest, you know. Um, they're like family people. Just, you know, they might not be a rough neck, or they might be rough necks. I don't know what they are, but I just know that they have this effect. And they like to talk about it. They want to have a platform. They want to talk about it with other people. They have a good time. They want to be comfortable. <laughs> they want to relax when they're doing it. They don't want everyone staring at them thinking they're fucking crazy. You come on to my side, believe me, you're fine. Because everyone thinks we're all crazy on my side. You're not going to be looked at as a weirdo. Believe me. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. They take one look at me and they're like, they're not worried about you looking like a weirdo. Then again, you can come on and talk me. Be as weird as you want. I don't care. My goal is to get everybody's voice out there, get you heard, get these things talked about, these changes that we're in this. And a lot of times I like to talk about the real life here, the life here, living here in this place as the shifts are happening. Because it's in my honest opinion, guys, the way I described it was we all rode a surfboard here in different waves and we're all landing on this island, like lost. And you're getting here as strangers and we're trying to be friends and as we're getting together, the island is changing. The island is shifting. We're just on it. So a lot of the changes you're seeing are just, they're around us. They're all around us, but not us. But again, we've talked about how I don't have scars, and a lot of people have scars or in different parts of their body. It's different. So it tells me that we're quantum jumping. It's like we're spirit jumping. You know, we're spirit jumping in a way. And we're jumping into situations that are bettering us. They're things that will better us. Because if you're a good person, you're going to be taken care of. Now, you're going to have rough patches, and you're used to it. Those of us who got here, it's hard for us to get down too much, other than the changes freaking us out a little bit. Family members and friends that don't remember what we remember. 
always in a good place and you're moving along and I'm facing challenges and I'm still facing them and I'm beating them, I'm, I'm beating them, especially with this whole uh, being able to use my trust, you know, my trust, which is my social, my name, at Fed and I'm using it to pay off all my debts with. This place that was a no-no because we're not supposed to know about that. It seems that we all have a trust in our name, and even the Pope is coming out saying, "Well, we don't want the trust anymore. We're going to head it back to the people." Shit! They found out. Yeah, the Pope is fucking releasing funds because, yeah, we all found out. And once this thing gets really fucking out there, like it gets really out there and circulating. You know, it's gonna explode, and we're gonna get ours back, and we're gonna be able to pay off a lot of our debts. Like I paid off a lot of mine. I'm still fighting them fuckers for it. Pay it again, pay it again, and we're doing it best we can. And there are pioneers out there that had started this. Now, I had stumbled upon this as a sign. I, 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 I my, we joke about my the routing and my account number had swapped sides, which led me to a which led me to B, which led me to C, which led me to find this person, which led me to find this person. Now, I'm not going to give everybody shout-outs, but I will give um, Harvey Dent a shout-out. This motherfucker's like me. He's broke. He's doing the best he can. He's hanging in there. He's paying his bills the best he can. The dude come out with all this information, and he didn't ask for a fucking dime, and people are helping him out. Like, they've helped me out without asking. You know, they just said, hey, thank you for the information. Thank you for helping. And then we get by what we can, and we better ourselves with the new knowledge that we found. And so people are getting it out there. Some people want to sell it to you. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Go see him. He'll give it to you for free. You come to my chat, I'll give it to you for free. We're about freedom, people. There's people out there who want freedom. There's people out there who want oppression. And they want to come here, and as soon as they get here, they get the opportunities to get in the game. They, out a lot of things they want to get inside the game and be part of it instead of helping others along their path. I don't like the song. It's all, guys, it's all at random. So I get a letter. I've been getting a lot of letters from Wells Fargo since I paid off my mortgage and they kept putting it back in and I just keep paying it back off again. So they're giving me all these offers like a credit and uh, now my credit scores are shot because somebody stole my credit card or my credit information from uh, Wazoo. And so I'm still having to go back and pay all that shit off and I'm, I'm going to use uh, my trust account to pay all those off and get my credit scores back up. Now, these guys know I have a fucked up credit because it was, I, was, I was hacked. I was, they stole my shit. And so... Uh, I would have normally had a credit card and everything would have been fine. I could have been using it with this trust, but oh, they're going to offer me one at like an outrageous amount of interest. It's my money. And they want to return the interest of my own money. And they're the ones who invested in my name and my social to make me money, and they want me to pay them twice, three times, four times? Like the gut, like it's like the federal government. I took student loans out. I didn't even take the classes here. I just paid off my shit with my trust, all of it. I've done it twice. They keep sewing it back. I still pay it again. I use another routing number. I have multiple routing numbers on there. I don't even look at the A, B's, and C's. I just put my social and another routing, throw it in, and it pays it. And they're like, "Do you own this trust?" Yeah, I own myself. I am myself. To send you a copy of my uh, birth certificate and my driver's license. I'm not even arguing with these people. I'm just doing it. I'm free, man. I'm freeing myself. And so don't worry about me, guys. If you think I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy. You can do it yourself and find out that I'm not crazy. This, the system has been put out there a long time ago for this place, for this dimensional place. They are robbing the citizens. The rich are stealing from the poor. They're really doing it, man. They're really doing it. And so it takes a Robin Hood to jump in there and his merry men to fucking get shit back to the people. So again, I want to shout out to Harvey Dent. He's got a fucking fantastic site. He tells you everything you need to do. He's a dude. He's done asking for 
shit, he's just a dude. He wants, like, subscribe. That's it. I, I, I should ask for subscriptions. Subscribe to me. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't care about my numbers. I know the people watch, they watch. I know they're down always. They're always like, I don't care. I've got my people. I know who watches. I know we all help each other the best we can. We're not part of this place, so, you know, we just kind of live on the underground with a small minority of us. Some of you guys have moved, you know, to try to up yourself. You're trying to do better for yourself. You've got the effect and you're doing better for yourself. Absolutely. Because you can never remove who you are from inside your own body. You'll always have the memories. The North Pole will always be there. Always there in my mind. They can't take that away. You can't have my memories. And it's my spirit from my old place, my old stomping ground. It gives me the strength to do the things that I do. Oh yeah, now we're here. We're here. smoke with me and pray to your creator, your father, your mother, the lamp shit, you pray with me now. I've never tried this pot and I'm fucking dying to try it. I had ice in here last night, I was smoking resin, I got weed now. It's probably pretty fucking cool. Oh yeah. Everything's gone. This might be an opportunity for many of you. Am I talking about smoke? This is, it, it appears to me that it's an opportunity for many of us to get off the things that were killing us. You're getting fit here. You're getting strong here. You're getting your minds cleared here. You're doing everything you can here. So whatever happens, you'll be, you're, you'll be fit and prepared for whatever is given to you at the end of whatever this this whole this whole change is, okay? 
those people who can't see it, well, they're not gonna they're not gonna know anything about it, and they're gonna need help. And so those of us that are fit and ready and clean can help. You can't go helping people if you got a runny nose and you're on fucking and you're, and you're, and you're detoxing. So it's a great opportunity. Which, which was pretty much the sign I got from my father with a fucking shotgun in my face when I, first day I, I went cold turkey, was make a choice, make a choice. You can live out your life like this zombie and, and always be addicted to the drugs and always be, a, always have to answer to somebody else because they hold that medicine that you need. But if you can release yourself from all of those things, I've had one meal today, guys, one meal. This is my first beer, right? And this is my first bowl. And I've been out running. I did a long nature walk. I did some running, and then I had to do some lots of paperwork. I'm trying to get myself set up for uh, 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 unemployment while I go to the mental hospital at the VA to talk to them about having this effect. Now, how that's going to work out, I think it's going to be my favorite. I'm not going to lie to them. So I'm going to come in with my residuals. I'm bringing my anklet, I'm bringing my paperwork, I don't know. Maybe they can tell me more about myself than when I was here. So I'm not so, I'm not so pessimistic about the actual visit. I'm actually looking forward to it because maybe I can get information about myself here. Because obviously we were different. A lot of my military stuff is different. It's different. So I'm looking forward to maybe finding out a little bit more myself. So if this psychiatrist I get assigned to research me, then maybe we can work together as a team, and then we can, I can get better. And I'm hoping it'd be a woman. I don't want a guy, so I don't know. Smoke and pray with me, people. Oh, that tastes so good. It's a good pot. It was marked down. God is marked out. Oh, good times. Oh, this is amazing. It's marked out. See the look I've had. Oh, wow, man. Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah, when you get off heroin, when you guys get completely off heroin, when you're completely off heroin. <clears throat> you get to smoke an hallucinogen like marijuana or use some kind of whatever in a proper place of good contact. You really, <clears throat> really kickstart that pineal gland, man. Once you get that shellac off, my God, guys. Now I walk around. What I'll do is in the daytime, especially when it's really right outside, and I will take those long trail walks. And when I hit, like, the, when I jog, when I run, I like to run without my glasses on, and I'm pretty much blind, right? Pretty much blind. And, well, I'm opposite. I'm colorblind, so the colors are too fucking bright for me to see. Everything's real bad. And so, um, this person had advised me. I was a little skeptical, but this DME had the same problem, like I do. Like, but not extreme like I do. And this person says they put on eyeliner. I go, what does that do? It says it keeps the light, actually kind of keeps the light reflecting into your eye a lot better. So I had to go down and buy like, what kind? Uh, so you burn a little bit. And I was told to burn a little bit, let it dry off, let it cool down. Then you kind of like line your eyes with them and it works. It doesn't work 100%, but it works. It does work. It keeps the reflection down, and I go, oh, it's like football. It's like football when you put the when you put the black when you put the black under your eyes. I don't, I'm, I'm running with fucking the black under my eyes. Shit, man. I just I was doing that at first. I was running with the with the with the black under my eyes like football, and I was like, this looks stupid. No. So I started doing the eyeliner thing. Just. A, a mild amount, and it does it does block a lot of the light. It does help, which is which is weird. I don't know. We should make a product for MEs. We should make like a 
a, a specific eyeliner for, uh, for guys, you know, the use for this condition. I would, I'm going to look into that. That'd be cool, man. Any recommendations? That'd be cool. Uh, I'm not an eyeliner person.